And you know, while I'm talking about it, if you have a motor that you've just gotten or it's older, it's really good idea to change the hoses. Um, you know, especially if they look cracked or, you know, if it's a really old motor new to you, it's a good idea to go, uh, you can go to the um, automotive store and get uh, ethanol resisted uh, automotive uh, ho um, <coughs> fuel hoses okay with the same internal uh internal diameter now the one going to this carb is a uh, 3 16 internal diameter so uh, you could get the same type make sure that they don't uh, <clears throat> they don't sell you vacuum hoses okay uh and uh, so you want fuel hoses that are uh ethanol resistant uh, and mo and all automotive hoses are these days and they're much cheaper than buying marine uh, fuel hoses uh, online or something like it because those are very expensive and it's convenient just to go to your local Napa AutoZone or O'Reilly's or whatever flavor you have close next uh, close to you so I'm removing these Sometimes it's a little bit of a, a bit of a pill to get them out. All right, and they're all the same size, so you don't have to wear where, where they go. So I'm going to remove this off of there, okay? And if we look at the bottom of the car bowl, actually, surprisingly, it's very, very clean. So we're fortunate; it's very, very clean. All righty, but that doesn't mean anything. Now this has an older type float in it. Uh, it looks like it has the original shellacking in there, okay? and uh, we have our uh, we have our bowl gasket actually a bowl gasket st still looks like it's in relatively good uh, shape so that's a good thing uh, this right here is our uh, float okay normally this float is hanging upside down just like this it's hanging upside down and so as the fuel comes in okay I don't know if you can see here they have the little float needle down at the bottom right here as the bowl fills up this little thing fills up and what it does is it pushes that little float needle up here and it actually cuts off the flow of fuel going uh, to the carburetor and uh, so you have a reserve of fuel in the uh, car bowl and so it helps prevent flooding so if um, this little thing gets gummed or uh, this little thing gets gummed or uh, boogered up uh, and the little float needle doesn't move up and down you can have a fuel delivery issue okay and now with the new, uh, with the kits the newer kits they have a little hinge pin pin and what that does is it helps pull the little pin uh, uh, pull the little pin down the older kids didn't. The older kids, uh, just by gravity, the little uh, the little pin would come down. The reason why they started using the little hinge pins, uh, the little hinge pins, is because uh, the newer uh, floats, I mean float pins, come with a uh, kind of a rubber tip, and so sometimes they can stick, but it also helps seal better. Um, I've used both the regular. Um, <clears throat> The uh, older type needles that aren't worn, and uh, and the new ones, and uh, you know they both work fine. Uh, some of them have preference where they they prefer just the uh, older uh, the older needles. So uh, I would keep this little uh, this little uh, pin right here, okay, that we remove from the back here. I would keep that. Some of the aftermarket kits, that little pin is actually. Um, that little pin is actually uh, a little bit longer and it creates a problem okay uh, with uh, trying to put uh, the bowl back in because it's a little too wide and it doesn't allow this back here to slide on so I always keep the original parts until you're finished with the um, with the cleaning and repair okay and so what we're gonna do next is uh, we're gonna lift the cork out okay and you can see the little uh, the little um, Excuse me. You can see the cork and the little uh, float pin. Now this is uh, apparently who had it before has a newer type float. It actually has the little uh, pin in it. Okay, I mean with the little rubber tip. And right here you can see the little hinge pin. Okay, you can see the little hinge pin. And so that, if you look at it, there's a little piece that that hangs on there. Okay, just like this. You see the little pin. Okay, the little small hang piece goes around the neck of this, okay, and then the other piece slides on top just like this. There you go, 
and it floats on just like that and it allows this to move up and down alrighty okay next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to oh well I'm going to have to get a, a bigger screwdriver I'll get it in just a second this right here is the high speed uh, nozzle okay we're going to remove that and you have to be careful not to damage these if you don't have another kit because uh, they will uh, uh, these are made uh, like brass or something like that and it can easily get damaged and so I'm going to uh, be removing this this little high speed nozzle allows fuel to go up in the upper portion of the carburetor now if you look and there's like a little gasket okay and you can see all the little holes and stuff that's metered goes through there and that can be all gummed up in carb now if you look at this little at this little high-speed nozzle here this little piece right here uh, can uh, even though it looks good okay and it probably could be used again but if you notice it's kind of dry and it's starting to crack and it's been kind of mashed down a little bit so it's lost some of its buoyancy if it dries and shrinks with the ethanol and stuff like that it can actually recede back a little bit and it can cause delivery issues going up into the upper portion of uh, the high speed uh, nozzle here so it's always good to replace that if, you know if everything else looks good you can always replace this little piece right here with a 201b o-ring that you can get a local hardware store online or whatnot but it's actually a good replacement uh, for this high-speed gasket because this one's uh, just looking at it, it's kind of uh, hard and it's a little it feels uh, If I push in a little bit, it would break and be brittle that can cause a lot of fuel delivery issues And I know I'm probably going on a depth and for some people it's probably a little slow and I'm uh, and I'm saying quite a bit of stuff But I, I really want to do a good job of doing that because uh, car issues are probably one of the biggest frustrations that people have and so I just want to do a good job and explain things. Okay, so I'm going to remove the high speed needle seat here. Okay, and you want a wide tip here. Okay, you want a wide tip. Be careful. And you're going to you want to turn. And these can be a bit. Uh, okay. I'm going to definitely replace that. That little seat's been damaged. Okay, but there's a little plastic insert in there as well, too, so that needs to be replaced. Okay. Alrighty. So, and the only thing, other thing I probably want to play, uh, I want to take off is I want to take uh, any, um, some of the older carburetors, there's usually not an issue, but um, take off anything that's plastic because I will tell you the, um, <clears throat> the carb cleaner will eat up plastic and it will destroy it so if there's anything plastic on your carb you should take off okay so we've gotten everything pretty much off okay and so um, alrighty and so we have our carburetor here okay so the only thing uh, <clears throat> I want to do now is um, uh, it, it, it didn't look like it has a lot of junk in it but what I want to do now is I want to go and uh, I want to um, take this expansion plug out. Okay, um, I don't think it needs to, but the only reason why I'm doing it is to show um, show you how it's to be done. Okay, so I'm going to move some of this stuff aside. I'm going to move this completely over here. And all this over here and definitely the high speed orifice I'm just going to remove everything okay well what I'll do is I'll clear everything out first and then what I'll do is I'll remove the expansion plug and then I'll combine that with cleaning and putting it back together so I'll see you back in just a bit <laughs> 